It's a Barbie Valentine Black History Month date night. Let's go! All right, I got two awesome dolls in celebration of Black History Month and of Valentine's Day. We have a couple. I uh, put them in matching outfits. Well, we got this new guy, which I'm really excited about. He's a cool looking Ken. I had to take him out of his package. That's a first for me. I opened the toy before I did the review. There was just way too much glare going on on this and I thought I could do it better. And yeah, that looks better. I have date night packs. Will we get through two today or will I have to do a part two? I have this scholarly one where they're all studious in these smart outfits. And then we have these tennis. Now, I don't know if it can be date night if they're playing tennis. They can play tennis at night. But when I saw this pack, I knew that I already had this pack. I never got the musician um, saxophone player. I was waiting so long. Look, it's even the cardboard boxes to get the whole career set of these. And I never saw them in Canada at all, except for at a closeout sale and maybe like once on Walmart's website and things just come and go really fast. Anyway, I did get this for half price, but I am missing the saxophone player and I guess I will never see that unfortunately but when this pack came out they re they re-released this one too because they, they did it did come out in one of these bags and when they put this one out i thought oh my goodness i have to get that for this but i never did get these packs these career packs and these career packs aren't even from the same wave i don't think no i'm pretty sure they're not but anyway these match matching tennis outfits what a perfect time to do it Black History Month, two awesome dolls. Now he, you know, has the standard five points for articulation. So I was going to use this girl who I never opened yet, but I don't even know, maybe I won't open her. She's tall, I'm not so sure about the fit of the clothes, and you know, she has way more articulation than this guy does. I wanted to use a standard uh, Barbie to go with a standard can and I chose her. She's one of the ones as you might have seen from some of my other videos I am going to be selling all my fashionistas off. I um, rather use my color reveal dolls without um, hair that I have to sell. However, she is one. I love budget dolls. She is one of the budget dolls that I have and I think that she's really cool and her hair is just easy go easy and go beautiful full curly beautiful hair au naturel love it like that but i did however put one of these hair clips in there because i thought it looked good and i put those glasses on her i thought that would look good and i chose this dress i love the vintage patterns i'm not sure about the two-sidedness of it but it sure does match his outfit so they look like a smart cool couple together so okay that's her. Oh, and I found these sneakers. I didn't know what I was going to do. Tennis and um, the library. How would she pull that off? However, these translucent pearly sneakers will do the trick. High heel shoes, but will work with tennis. And let's take a look at this guy. Okay, so I'm really excited about him. He's 203. Like I said, I unzipped him, took him out of the package. I am super excited about these shorts too. Okay, they're not a jersey. They're not stretchy, so they're not going to fit on all of the Kens that I want, but uh, check those out. I love this heathery material. It's kind of like a tweed or a... Uh, oh, I, I love it. I, gray is probably my favorite color to wear, and this material... I mean, in real life, it would be polyester, so I wouldn't like that, but it looks like it could be wool, and I love those wool trousers. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we have this shirt. Wow, that is the Velcroed on there. <laughs> Very not symmetrically. So many complaints about this shirt online when this doll was announced, and I did not understand. I love an overlock stitch. It's such a nice, simple, awesome pattern of a shirt. Now, I mean, 
I don't like printed on stuff, which I think we're going to see in, I don't know, one of these fashion packs, as much as the next person, I don't like it. I don't like the printed on stuff. And the only thing on here that wouldn't really be printed on would be the K. And we don't want that peeling off. We know from the stuff that we had in the 80s that that stuff all gets peely offy and comes off and then you can't even peel off what's left over or it ruins the shirt. So I'm, I'm okay with this. I love the shape of it. It's like this cool modern V shape. Got the, it's got a, it's got a Rastafarian vibe going because of the orange and the stripes. And I like that. Look, there's a little bit of red in the K for the Ken. I guess you call this a jersey. I love the modern shape of it. And then the V is emphasizing it. Like flattering. Come on. Get wide shoulders, narrow waist. That's what we want. These sneakers, are they my favorite sneaker? I don't think they're my favorite sneaker. There's one sneaker that's a little bit thicker than this, but this is thicker and a nice chunky, like basic a classic sneaker which is great because that will go with all of the outfits that we have to try on but I do love this sneaker too white simple basic goes with everything clean like you want your sneakers clean and uh, that is what we're working with today let's uh, open up the tennis outfits and uh, do this go ahead have scissors ready cut off these things and open this up pull out of the sleeve oh, these are so hard to open I can never get the cardboard out I don't know how they get them in it poor factory workers that I have to stuff that inside there okay Okay, and then we've seen this tennis racket before, which is really cool. Uh, it's not Ken's. Ken is a different one, but it uh, has the peg, and then the ball has a hole, and you can put the ball on the tennis racket, and that's really cool. This one, orange translucentness, awesomeness, and then uh, the dress is one piece. And it looks like this, not printed on the back, printed on the front. All of these pleats and stuff are printed on. So I guess that's gonna be a theme of what's going on here. But let's uh, get it on her. Can she wear her glasses and play tennis? I'm only gonna take this dress off. I wonder if this is your standard fashionista Barbie. Um, sometimes they make the budget ones a little different. She does have arms going outward though, so I'm assuming it is a fashionista. Sometimes the hands are a little different. I think these are different, slightly chunkier hands and simpler molds on this particular budget, and maybe all budgets. But, you know, there are different kinds of budgets. Sometimes they have the Christmas budgets and the Halloween budgets too. But I always liked a budget. I like the dresses they come with. They're simple, like sometimes vintage looking patterns. Why? Oh no, oh no. It still had a little tag holding it together. Where is it? Oh, did it come out? Putting holes in it. I don't like those fasteners. One got stuck as I was putting on the dress. There's a hole now in her dress. I try to be very careful to make sure that I cut them instead of pulling them. Actually, this gave it a lot of holes. Look at the holes in her back. And I think they went right through to the front, too. There's one. One right here in the front. Um... I think we're going to keep her glasses on and her dress on. This was the doll that came in a tropical print that had the, uh, what do you call that? Halter, halter top? Yeah, I think a halter type peg dress. Anyway, it's still, and it still looks good with this. No, it doesn't. I mean, it does. They look great together. Have you seen his hair? Did I show you his hair? No, it's awesome. 
it's sculpted separately so um, they did that I'm not sure I don't think we've seen this face before with a different head on it it's a really good head though and what's the date on it will I be able to see maybe I'll be able to see in the thing 2022 it's a new head Mattel it's so good anyway she can uh, stand there and wait yeah, I like this in her hair too. That's not going anywhere. We're keeping it. Shoes. Let's try on tennis outfit on him. You can see his body, which is so much like that period of time, which I just, you know, realized like in the 60s, they did have this very similar body to this, which I think one of my subscribers said was just for two years, but and then they did the chunkier one in the 80s but then it came back it is a uh, it is quite a good physique I always uh, I think it's a great look for Ken all right come on let's do it let's get this out oh, oh man it's uh sometimes it is a separate pullout card sometimes it doesn't I'm getting really good at opening things without caring anymore just to be so gentle not saving this package though and here we go with I guess we should put the pants on first can we give him some pants does he have a belt yeah see he's got underwear on it's just the same color as his skin and it says Ken right on his underwear even though is his name Ken all right look at these shorts they are not your standard like polyester shorts like this material or this material sometimes they like make shorts with that or i guess usually it's not like this because this isn't oh maybe this is a stretchy material uh oh uh oh it's very fleecy though so it sticks to the velcro be careful because that's not cool these are awesome i'm going to be able to use these with my max steel too because they have some lots of stretch to them both directions let's get them on them we already know that orange looks great with this skin tone put that on his own again he could wear this now hmm. these are uh, these are not slim long shorts in real life would not look so good in my opinion they're not something I like but like shorter shorts especially when they're slim but I mean they don't look that bad which is strange because they're big baggy are they baggy I don't know they're slim and baggy at the same time but anyway he's not gonna walk around like that he has this awesome shirt which I know is gonna make the shorts look so much better I don't think we're going to the library today. We'll do this one fashion. And then you can tell me if you want to see these guys again. Try on the other fashion for their library date. That can happen another day if you like. I uh, like all of the uh, modern geometrics going in here. It looks like Olympic logo of some sort, of some time, of a modern time mind you but yeah come on they look like the perfect team so good and uh, let's take a look at his and his shoes of course work perfect with this outfit oh no she's down she face is she okay I shouldn't break her glasses that's what matters and uh, man she's so cool with the glasses on love her with the glasses I guess I was inspired by the smart packs, little smarty pants, smart packs, because they come with glasses. Anyway, this Ken tennis racket is awesome. It's not the same color as the Barbie one, but wow, that's nice. So nice, so retro nice coolness. It also has the peg and ball system going on. 
so and they can match it up. Let's see how good they can hold it. Because the ball sits on the tennis racket, I kind of do see them like this. It's the only real way. And you do see people balance. I've never played. I mean, I've played tennis, but I've never played tennis. I've never been a professional tennis player or owned my own tennis racket. Well, I might have owned my own tennis racket, actually. No, I didn't own my own, but um, I might have bought a vintage one, maybe, for like an antique one. Sometimes I would just buy antiques and display them in my home. So that's possible, but I've, yeah. <sighs> I've never played tennis. I mean, I, I don't go down that rabbit hole again. Anyway, look how cool they look. They look so good. Yeah, I love them. Um, let me know what you think of these outfits. Let me know if you want to see these guys again try on the scholarly outfits. Happy Black History Month. Go read a book or watch a movie. Educate yourself on Black History. It's um, something that we all have to be aware of and know and the, hopefully the school systems will do better and teach it. And uh, Oh, and happy Valentine's Day. I love you. We'll see you next time. Should I build a tennis diorama? No. Tennis doesn't mean that much to me. Um, I would probably want to build something else than a tennis court. Her hand doesn't really work with the tennis racket. Again, I'm not sure her hand is normal, standard Burby, or maybe it is standard Burby. What's the date on her body? Let's see if I can see when they created this one 20 is a 2015 body that's when they made this body there was some changes to Barbie's proportions I don't think it was 2015 though do you remember when they made do you know when Barbie was made into um, this more less curvy version of herself this guy. Oh yeah, what, let's see what they say on the body here. I didn't look at the body, I just looked at his head. The date on this body says... Oh no. 20... 20... 20... I can't see it. Maybe it's just 2020. 20... 20... 20 16, I think. 2015, too. So some 15 or 16. You probably can see. Oh, 2016. There, we got the light right. Oh, these are cool. Oh, no. Oh, no.